So I had this idea of using the 360 degree camera in a flight and then making it look like I have projected the DVR footage onto the back of the battery and here is that video, what do you think? By the way, hello and welcome back to my RC channel I'm Andy RC and today's video, well it's just a little bit of fun really, I took a couple of days off reviewing stuff to go out there and just enjoy a bit of flying and didn't really have any intention of playing around with the footage but then I had this idea of you know seeing if I could make it look like the DVR was projected on the battery in that space and it actually came out pretty well so the DVR is actually in black and white and that is because I'm using the Night Eagle on the ZMR 250 I got my friend Chris here he's flying his connects Falcor. Really impressed with that model actually. It has taken an absolute beating and it still flies. In fact Chris was gonna put some three blade props on it because it comes with two blade props and his plan was to switch them over when he broke the props but they just haven't broke it just keeps on going. And I got to fly it a little bit as well and I have to say I was impressed it was really interesting to see the features work so it's got that mode called shield mode where it uses the ultrasonic underneath to guess where the ground is so essentially you can learn how to fly without having to modulate your throttle which sounds like a bad thing but it's actually worked in this instance so you can start off in this shield mode which is like a self level mode see there it's uh, gone into another crash there yeah so starts off with this shield mode then you've got horizon mode and then eventually acro and on this particular day it was actually Chris's first go in acro mode and yeah it was really great to see the Kinex Falcor working in that way to the point where someone can go through those different options and then eventually try Acro so yeah impressed with that system and impressed with the HD link as well you know it's not a cheap model by any means but it works and yeah I've been impressed with that so uh, I think another reason I'm making this video as well is GoPro have announced that they are coming out with a 360 degree camera and I would really like the opportunity to get and try one but I imagine it's going to be quite an expensive piece of kit so if you guys could do me a favor and share these videos as much as you can with the 360 video then I, that would really help me out otherwise I'm gonna have to save and save because I would really like to get to try one. You see how close I was there? This is the great thing about 360 video loop. I can play it back. So we're coming up to this gate here. And I can pause it and just zoom in there on the Falcor. And just look at that. Look how close I was there. And then if I pan around here somewhere, there is the Falcor and yeah that was pretty close. I think I clipped the ground there as well, lucky not to lose a prop there. And then I can unpause it. This is why I really like the 360 video. It captures every moment. You can go back and look at it from multiple different angles. Yeah. I really like that. But yes, I was talking about the GoPro Fusion, I think it's called. And the reason I'm interested in it is it has a 5k output which should be even better than the Xiaomi Media or Sphere that's why I'm using here of course now, I'm not sure whether it's gonna have a built-in gyro and actually have some more info on the gyro I was talking to 360 rumors it's a YouTube channel out there that specializes in 360 video and I mentioned in my review that sometimes the gyro doesn't kick in and it doesn't give you the option it's all to do with how soon you press the record button after turning the camera on so if you turn the camera on and press record straight away then it hasn't calibrated its accelerometer and therefore it shoots video fixed like we're looking at here 
and then if you wait a few seconds the accelerometer calibrates and then it's stabilized but actually what I do is I've got an old version of the app and if I want it to be fixed I use the old app and if I want it stabilized I use the new one. I'm actually using a different VR viewer here as well this is the Insta360 viewer and it's a little bit smoother on the zooms and the pans so yeah I really like that so I'm just following Chris around here with the Falcor so you might notice that the DVR is black and white and that's because I'm using the Night Eagle camera still from when I was doing night vision but I've actually found it to be really useful when following other quadcopters and that is because when using a color camera you, you can't really see the quadcopter very well as a, we have another crash there but if you look here I've just got a sea of white grass and then the quadcopter that I'm following it really stands out so I've decided to keep this camera on because it works really well in the day as well I'm not too fussed about color it's actually much more crisp than a color camera as well which is often the case you know, when I have been doing some space photography the monochrome camera is used more often than color cameras because you get a crisper image and that is the case I've been finding with this Night Eagle FPV camera so it's staying but I'm afraid yes the DVR footage is in black and white <laughs> so again just circling around Chris here I think he is actually going to switch from the shield mode to acro mode so I'm just flying around here watching the landing I want to talk about the gate that I'm using here actually as well fantastic race gate now, one of the problems that I have with all of the race gates out there is how long it takes to set them up this one I think it's from Gearbest and it's just got one pole that goes through it and then these two really massive heavy duty pegs that go into the ground and it was a windy day here today and it didn't get knocked over and it took a fair beating from both of us you'll actually see a crash at the end of this might be the first drone crash in 360 I don't know but it was really interesting to look at all the different angles because it broke a prop on the crash as well and uh, yeah this is uh, Chris doing some first acro rolls you can see there I managed to capture that but it's actually really difficult following another mini quad when there's no set course or anything like that because they're so tiny much easier to follow a plane I guess they're more predictable but of course quadcopter can just spin around really quickly and change direction so I need a proper race course up here and then it'd be easier to follow each other then I think so just going through this gate here at some speed what do you think of the DVR on the back of the batch there actually did it in Premiere so Premiere has a VR mode so you can actually preview the footage so what I did was I overlaid the DVR onto the 360 video and then I just messed with the geometry until it looked right and the viewer didn't use any plugins or anything like that here we have the crash and look at that it's broke a prop at the front and I've got a couple of more angles of that and then that is this video so thanks so much for watching I'll put a link in the description to some of the stuff used in this video as always please continue to subscribe cheers